going in style. This is that weird Grumpy Old Ben meets Hell or High Water movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I didn't know what to make of this movie. I like, it looked kind of okay, but it, it didn't make me excited to see it. Yeah, Directed by Zach Braff, but not written by him. Oh, Zach different. Braff. Is, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, I mean, it's based on the 1979 movie that had George Burns and Art Carney. And, right. Um, mm-hmm. So... Uh, yeah, it was just a reimagining. Mm-hmm. Of yeah, those that guys we made of not needed. Yeah, so I don't know. <laughs> That's old studio executives. Yeah, we own green the lighting. Yeah, yeah, green lighting. Like, oh, this movie was great. I saw it forty years ago. <laughs> 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 so uh, the next movie is The Circle. This was that weird Tom Hanks <sighs> Emma Watson yeah. movie that no one saw. No, it's not good. Yeah, that's why. I know what he saw. It. You're not missing anything. There's a couple of decent <laughs> scenes with Tom Hanks just because he's Tom Hanks. But right. the overall premise, the the pr- initial premise, you're like, oh, this could be cool, and then it just. And it kind of weird, like kind of firmy, like the firm. Wanting not wanting to be the firm, but not right. a successful. Never gets there. Yeah, and a lot of nonsense. Mm-hmm. Slight. Patton, Patton's it, in it though. Right? Patton's in oh, it. Patton's yeah. in it. Okay. Patton's a small part in it. Uh, the next movie is Slight. Now you liked this movie, right? I did like this movie. Mm-hmm. Um, this film, uh, I found, you know, it's really, there's a lot of interesting stuff in it. And it's, um, it goes through different genres and he's a street musician and it's sort of like the movie Dope a little bit. Magician. A magician, yeah, not right. musician. Yeah, yeah. magician. <laughs> so his magic and all this stuff and, and th- th- it's a cool little film, you know, mm-hmm. like if it didn't get a wide release, so... If you missed it, it's now time to watch it on iTunes or VOD or, or whatever, or Airplane, for mm-hmm. sure. <laughs> and the last movie is Colossal. Now, this movie was the uh, um, the movie where it was basically kind of about relationships and addiction, but it also had giant monsters in it. This was the Anne Hathaway yeah, movie. Yeah. Uh, now, here, here's the interesting thing. I didn't see it yet. Um, it was getting a lot of mixed reviews. However, everyone I talked to didn't like it. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They said it was just it. What you know? It's it's takes itself way too seriously. It's a depressing movie, and it just it didn't resonate with them. So I'm I'm curious to see it now for sure. Well, it grossed three million dollars mm. as of June. Now it was probably a low budget, so I'm wondering if that was still a success. No, it wasn't that. Low. It wasn't a one million dollar movie. Yeah, with Hathaway in it. this was a twenty million dollar film. Yeah. I'm guessing. Yeah, so um, it may not make his money back. It was disappointing. I remember seeing the trailer yeah. going, "Wow, this could be really cool." That's what I. Th- yeah, I said I was excited too when I saw the trailer. I'm like, "Oh, this is this could be really interesting." And then, oh well. Okay. Mm-hmm.